All right, so this is a quick video on what I do to get my YouTube videos edited and uploaded using an iPad Pro with LumaFusion. Now, not many of you guys know this, but when I started this YouTube channel, I just used an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil 2. And the main reason was that I had a laptop at the time that didn't quite have the horsepower to video edit smoothly and Yes, well, since then, I've moved over to a MacBook Pro M1 as my main editing device. The iPad is still a very viable option for many of you guys out there. It's a relatively easy workflow to learn, it's intuitive to use, and fast enough on most iPad models to handle the workload. So without further ado, let's get into it. First and foremost, when transferring video files to the iPad Pro, I like to physically copy those files onto the iPad. I much prefer using the Files app to do this as it's just easier for me to create a project folder to copy my clips to. Now, in this example, you can see that I copy all my clips into a folder named iPad Files. This is opposed to uploading all my clips to the Photos app, which if you're like me and shoot over the course of several days, makes it very difficult to sort them out into an album. Not to mention the constant reminders that my iCart storage is full. Now, to access these files using LumaFusion, it's as simple as opening up the app, clicking the Sources button on the top left, selecting Files, and adding a link to the folder where you had copied your clips into. In this case, I've created a link to iPad files. The next step is to create a project in LumaFusion to begin editing with those files. Once you have selected a project, you can then drag and drop any of your video or music files from any source into that project to begin video editing. As I like to keep organized, I pair each of my video projects to a separate video source folder, otherwise I find it gets way too cluttered. Once you have finished video editing, export the video file by clicking the lower right upload button. Uh, at this point, you need to select a destination for your export. Now, I would not recommend directly uploading to YouTube as I have encountered many areas trying to do this on multiple occasions. But as an easier alternative, what I do is I just export directly into the Photos app. Uh, at this point, LumaFusion will also prompt you to select your resolution, quality, and type of file, which I just generally leave as defaults. Uh, but once it's commenced the export, the really important thing here is to not switch from LumaFusion or lock the iPad. It will stop the rendering process and you'll have to repeat that export all over again. What I do instead is I just dim the display, ensure that my settings don't automatically switch off the iPad or lock the screen for at least five minutes, and I come back after it's finished rendering. Once it's exported to the Photos app, it's as simple as going into the YouTube app, clicking the middle upload button and selecting the video file from the Photos pop-up screen. Fill in any of the necessary details required and you should be good to go. Now, something that I do as part of my OCD and which you don't have to do at all is once I finish uploading to YouTube, I go back into the Photos app, I select the video uploaded, I long press and click share. That way I can save that file into a folder where I store all my completed videos. Because I do this, I can then delete the video in the Photos app to save on that precious iCloud photo space. And if I ever need to access that video again, well, all I need to do is navigate to that folder in the Files app. So voila, that's about it. Just a short video of uh, for any of you guys who uh, were curious and or struggling with editing on an iPad. I think it's a pretty good alternative for people like me who aren't that serious about the video editing or who don't have a PC or laptop that can keep up, especially because Apple is pretty good at optimizing performance in their iPad line. Now, I haven't personally tested what it's like video editing on any other iPad model that's less powerful than my iPad Pro, um, for example, like the iPad Air or any previous models, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this. I'd be curious to know what kind of performance you're getting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. But until the next one, see ya.